This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Hey, Ken Abraham here at CES 2011. I'm joined by Jeff from a company called Voltaic, who actually make these very, very cool looking bags. So Jeff, tell us, what is the company about and what do you do? So we're about charging electronics. Right. Uh, and so you can use the sun to charge up your cell phone, your iPod, your digital camera, all the way up to your laptop. Okay, so how does this actually work? So these are basically solar panels, I take it, right? These are solar panels. This is four watts of solar cells. Right. And these solar cells will charge up this battery. And this battery stores about one and a half phone charges. And it outputs from a USB port right up here. So you can plug in your USB charging cable from your phone right into here. But we also include tips. So this is like a micro USB tip. Okay. And for every tip that, for every phone, there's basically a tip. Right. Okay. And so what we can do is what I've noticed is you can, if for any reason this uh, this this battery has failed, this can yeah. be replaced. Is that That's correct? right. So the system's modular. Yeah. Uh, you can you can replace this battery or eventually probably upgrade to a much bigger battery at some point. Right. Okay. And how long does this battery hold a charge for? It'll hold the charge for about six months. Right. Okay. So basically, as long as I keep this out in the sun, then the charge is there. And I've got it there if I need it. As you have it whenever you need it. Fantastic. So tell me, what would this be used for? Which items would this basically work for? Uh, well, people use it for iPhones, Blackberries, yeah. all the latest Droid phones. They use it to charge their digi big digital cameras. They use it to charge Kindles and e-readers. Yeah. Gotcha. Basically, anything that's electronic and has right. a battery and fits in your hand. Okay, great. And what would this retail for? This is $99. Okay, so moving up the scale slightly, we actually have, we have this, which is obviously, you know, tablets are very hot right now. CES is fill all the tablets right now. What would we actually, with this, we're retailing at what value? This will, is either going to be $250 or $300, and it has twice the amount of power as that, okay. because tablets have bigger battery, batteries, oh, so it okay. needs more power to charge So basically, the equivalently, it has like two of these, effectively. Correct. Okay, and this would fit iPads, this would fit all the other tablets that are Samsung coming out Galaxy right now. Samsung Galaxy Tab, correct. Right, okay, and then moving up the scale again, we actually have this here, which is like a laptop bag. Now, this one obviously is the basically the granddaddy, I guess, of your That's right. <laughs> of everything you've got here. So, tell us a little bit about this one. So, this uses the highest efficiency cells on the market. They're very pretty. They're 20% uh, efficient, making that we can get 15 watts of power um, in this bag, and it's capable of charging MacBook Pros as well as you know most laptops, all the way down to tablets and cell phones and digital cameras. Right. And obviously this is uh, this is obviously in your displays. I'm not going to pull this down, but effectively the innards of this pretty much work the same way as the innards of yes, this. Yes, it's very similar. There's a battery inside that stores power. This battery is just much bigger than the battery that we have for the tablets. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. So for Thank more you. information, where should we head to? www.voltaicsystems.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. And for more information on everything we've covered today, head to butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.